Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you another video and that is Polaris Office on the Galaxy S4. Now if you're wondering what Polaris Office is, Polaris Office is basically a built-in app on the Galaxy S4 that allows you to create, edit, and share Word, Excel, or PowerPoint documents. So we're going to go over a couple of things on it and first we'll just launch it. This is uh, the fifth version of Polaris Office. The S3 and the Note 2, for example, had Polaris Office 4. So we'll notice a bit of interface changes as well as uh, just other changes in general. Let's let me register for the first time. I recommend registering. You never really get any spam, so you don't have to worry about that. It's one of the things I like about Polaris Office. Um, but once you're registered, it just has it all backed up. All right. So um, one thing about Polaris Office, you can uh, see your most recent documents right from the start. You can uh, browse through your file browser right down here at the bottom. So if you want to browse your file right there, if you hit view together, this will go into the group play feature uh, found on the S4, which allows you to connect this screen with other screens uh, such as the S4s, and uh, the S3s and Note 2s once it gets the update. So that's a really nice feature built in. Now at the very top here though, we're gonna find uh, the things we're gonna use most often uh, with Polaris Office, and that's of course to create a new document. So as you can see here, you can create a document, a sheet, a slide, or text. The really nice thing about Polaris Office is as soon as you hit the document or any kind of new type of form, you see some really nice and well done templates. So you can actually choose your template from a letter document, a recipe, recipe document, um, what they call a minutes document, uh, kind of like tracking how many minutes you've been in, like a time clock, a report, and resume. Uh, I just want to show you through each one. So now the sheet one, let's check out what we have for the sheet. So we have a budget planner, just a standard kind of chart grids, a loan calculator, a report and a trip itinerary. And then for a presentation, slide, you have some basic ones. We have an album, business, a plan, which probably looks the most official, um, proposal, travel guide, and marketing one. So pretty nice. Um, the plain text one is just going to be like um, a dot text file, so just very simple. Um, Nothing too fancy about that, although you can change the font size and uh, basic things such as that. And yep, you can't change anything else. So it's just a basic text file. Um, and on the document, let's say if we do a blank one, just to kind of give you an impression of the interface. So you can kind of see um, how it goes. So um, of course we can just type plain document right here. Uh, we can select text right here, paste, or look at our clipboard on all the different uh, things we've uh, scanned over the time. And we can insert a memo, uh, copy any uh, copy format. So if we did a particular format, we can do that um, as well. We can uh, highlight um, or draw on any section um, to kind of make uh, really nice uh, basic designs. So whether it be like a bullet point or, um, you know, a, uh, basically anything that you might need or ever use in Office, um, you have at your disposal right here. Even if it's a table, you have that ability to draw a table very simply like so. So um, it's pretty nice for the most part on how you would do it. This would be much better with a pen, so we'll see if, um, They'll introduce something like the C pen that was on the S3. Um, obviously, that would be much better for this uh, type of. And then you can erase, of course. Uh, I just did it quickly. And you can do um, selecting, moving things around. So, just give you an idea from that. And then you can also always insert things like you would um, more simply. So, that was kind of free range with the pen. Um, and this is more uh, traditional, you know insert a photo, camera, text box, gallery, table, chart, um, and we can also um, adjust headers and footers. If um, this was obviously we were using a more in-depth uh, version um, of a document, then we could also do bookmarks, uh, footnotes, and endnotes. So it's pretty nice that you have that ability. 
And then on terms of changing format and styles, you have a pretty nice um, layout here. You can change the width. Um, so how, you know, why do you want your, uh, to, how you want your page to be, the font style you want, if you want an effect um, on the uh, font itself or any of kind of the lines you draw or uh, tables you draw and uh, the different styles of course as well. So you have a lot to play around with. Um, you can also change the view from uh, viewing uh, to editing mode. So if you just wanted to click view instead, uh, a lot obviously simpler for that purpose. And um, we can choose the page layout, uh, view settings, um, just basically if we wanted to show the ruler, uh, show full with uh, flow, reflow text, um, you know, any of the basics that you would see on a regular office um, are basically built in on here. So it's pretty nice for the most part. And then if we go to view mode, we can uh, see basically the same kind of stuff. So that's really uh, the kind of basics through it. Um, I'm gonna discard that. And uh, so those are some of the basics through uh, regular Polaris Office. Um, you can automatically create a backup file. You can automatically restore. You can show the file extensions. Um, it auto fits the pages when you open them. And um, you can't always see if there's an update available for any newer version. So these are just kind of uh, the basics that you can use uh, Polaris Office for. And this is kind of uh, their overview of it and their guideline, um, just showing you the features. So you can get an in-depth, of course, if you like to read more so, instead of uh, watching these videos. And uh, they have that option for you as well. All right, guys, um, if you have any questions about Polaris Office, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.